Good morning. Good morning, believers. Uh. Let's see if I can get the frost out of here a little bit. Kind of helped. Oh boy. Oh boy. All right. All praises, honor, and glory to the Most High, the Heavenly Father, the Only Begotten Son, and the Holy Spirit. Sounds like the helicopter. The helicopter is just sitting there. Fucking looking at me. <laughs> really, bro? <laughs> hey, jackass. I don't know what he's doing. Now he's trying to hide. Hide behind the tree. <laughs> hide behind the tree. <laughs> All right, so we were, um, <coughs> in Hebrews. Um, the priesthood of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, bless my brothers and sisters. Humble, contrite spirits out here that love you. That want to know you better. They came to visit and sit with us, Lord. Woo! Give them their, your grace and your mercy. Because that's what you do best. Thank you. Amen. So I'm thinking, my neighbor said, the reason she likes me so much is she likes my spiritual side. You know how friggin' awesome that is? I said, why do you think Snowy likes me? She said, probably for the same reason. I'm a lot, but I have a heart of gold. I like that. I like that. I'm, I ride with that. So anyway, um, let's, let's get into some really... Beautiful teachings on Jesus Christ. I mean, how can we not love this Solomon, this son of David, this this beautiful man God that wrote us a whole book of love songs? Beautiful stories about love and devotion and Loyalty. Peace. War. <clears throat> hey, guys. Uh. So... Let's read um, Hebrews chapter 5, verse 1. That's probably, possibly, undercover. I don't know. They don't have enough to do around here, I guess. They're, they're like, that truck looks weird. That's a 
That's a surfer town truck. What's he doing in town? I don't fit in here. It's funny, it's only 20 miles from my house, but it's a whole different world. Uh, it says, um, Hebrews chapter 5, verse 1. For every high priest taken from among men is ordained for men in things pertaining to God that he may offer both gifts and sacrifices for sins. For every high priest taken from among men is ordained for men in things pertaining to God. Do I have that? You think I have that? Think I'm ordained to minister to you? I have gifts. <clears throat> and the biggest gift is that I know my Lord. I I might not be able to explain, <clears throat> but you should be able to see it in my heart, in the way I am. I'm not, <clears throat> I'm not trying to convince you of anything other than my Lord's got me. I don't know if he's got you. I hope he does. I'm not hopeful for me. I'm hopeful for you. Hopeful elect. GMS, Black Hebrew Israelism. We're of the hopeful elect. No, you're not. <laughs> you're not of any elect. If you're hopeful, you don't understand the Bible. You, you got to have, you got to believe that he is. Um, who can have compassion on the ignorant? Me? Me. I'm not happy about the ignorant, but I'm trying to get them to understand. That's what it says. Um, who is among men who is ordained pertaining to God that he may offer both gifts and sacrifices for sins, who can have compassion on the ignorant and on them that are out of the way, for that he himself is compassed with infirmity. I'm sick too. That's what I was saying in the last video. How do I know you're sick? Fuck, this place is crazy. Somebody's sick. The one thing, one good thing about when I come here to crawl and to work, it pushes me back into the world in a way that slaps me out of my, uh, my sleepy headedness, my, I don't know, what's the word? Um, I'm content, I'm, I'm a little soft. I have to harden up. When I come over here, it's like, <clears throat> better get it together. The world is tough. So what's it say? <clears throat> it says people like me true men of God who are ordained to minister this word to you. The reason we, we can do it is because we know we're all sick. God didn't come for the healthy. He came for the sick. And by reason hereof, he ought as for the people, so also for himself, to offer for sins. What what does it sound like the biggest sin is? Ignorance. What what does what pisses God off more than anything? What do you think pisses him off the most? 
what gets what gets him just fucking upset thinking that you thinking that you know something you don't know he hates that thinking you think he's something that he's not Hates that. For no man taketh this honor unto himself, but he that is called of God, as was Aaron. A priest. Someone who's willing to take the hits. I'll talk for Moses. I'll, I'll stand by the people. I don't know what they're doing. I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm going to give it a try. What did Aaron do? He, he helped him make the freaking golden calf. Moses was up on the mountain and Aaron's all, I don't know. Give me your gold. Let's, let's make a God. <laughs> let's make a, let's make an idol. So also Christ glorified not himself to be made a high priest, but he that said unto him, Thou art my son, today have I begotten thee. So, did I do I call myself a prophet and a priest? Yeah, but you know what? He called me to be this. Not me, I didn't. You, that's, that's why I was saying my neighbor said to me, the reason I like you is because you're, you walk with God. I didn't, I didn't have to tell her. I talk about God all the time. Don't I? How do you know I'm a man of God? Because <clears throat> I talk about God all the time. She said, you know what? You're one of the few people I know that is not afraid to talk about God. And it really hit me. How different I am. How different am I? Pretty different. I have a girlfriend that I don't even have sex with. <laughs> and it doesn't matter. Is that funny? Never been like that before. <laughs> Believe me, never been like that before. So the Lord's working on me in ways that it's hard to understand, but I'm just along for the ride. And it's beautiful. Some of the it's one of the most beautiful relationships I've ever had with a woman. <sighs> Anyhow, what's he saying? Just like just like Jesus, <clears throat> even though we're just men, I'm just a man, I'm just a just another human, spiritual monster walking around this matrix. I was given something. And that was the Spirit of God, the Holy Spirit. If you just give me a brush. <laughs> I got a brush. I was just joking. Um, bear with my hair. Bear with the hair. This place is crazy. You see all the action going on out here. Seagulls and trucks and cars and... <clears throat> I'm expecting to see a big ship 
helicopters. Fucking helicopter still just sitting there, pointed right at me. Um, thou art my son. Today have I begotten thee. <clears throat> so, if I'm like Jesus, if I'm sent by the Heavenly Father, if I'm one of his ordained ministers, what does that mean to me? What does that mean to me? That means that I'm like Jesus. I'm, I'm begotten this day. That's what it says. Thou art my son. Today have I begotten thee. So it's talking about what's it like to be in the priesthood of Jesus Christ. Today, he tells me every day, you're my son. You're the brother of my only begotten son so you he's of the first fruits and you are also of the first fruits because you know your brother you know your brother well you know yourself through your brother you know you were sent by me because you know your brother who was sent by me this is what I'm talking about about the priesthood and that's what Paul's trying to if Paul wrote Hebrews we're not sure the language and the the way it reads is points to Paul, but I'm not going to claim it because it doesn't say it. And we'll know one day if Paul wrote it. I would say he did, being he was a Hebrew of Hebrews, a Benjamite. We're the fucking we're the most Jew. We're the most Jew of the ish ever. Benjamites, we are Jew. I am Jew. I am Jew. Are you me? I'm Jew. What is that? You. I am you. Get it? I am you. I am you. And you are me. We are all one happy family. I am you. I'm a you of yous. I'm a me of me's. I'm a I am of of I am's. Anyhow, if you can understand that. Um, it says, as he said also in another place, thou art a priest forever after the order of Melchizedek. Do we know do Do you guys understand who Melchizedek was he was the one that gave the tithes to Abraham, or t Abraham gave him tithes. Why? He gave the priests tithes so that today, right now, everything I'm giving you, this is the 10% that Abraham gave to Melchizedek for my people, for Israel. So, as a Hebrew, I am you, <laughs> I am Jew, I am Jew. You can receive what I give because it's it's pure, it's it's untainted. It's Melchizedek was the spirit, the Holy Spirit coming in a Christophany to Abraham. It was Jesus Christ and the Heavenly Father all rolled into one, the Ancient of Days, showing himself as a man, angel, whatever he looked like. I, not going to go back to it. He had no beginning, no end. He has no father, no mother. So basically, he's the spirit of our creator. He's the heavenly father. First incarnation of Jesus Christ. Same spirit. That's how we know there's not three different dudes. It's one dude. Melchizedek is father, son, and spirit. 
So as a priesthood, that's why that's why we don't believe in the Trinity. Because there is no Trinity. The only Trinity is I and I in the Spirit. I and I and the Spirit. I and I is the Spirit. So it, it, it breaks into three parts, but it's still just one Spirit. It's still just one God, one... <sighs> This place is crazy. You hear the sirens again? <sighs> Here they come again. Let me continue. Thou art a high priest forever after the order of Melchizedek who in the days of his flesh, when he had offered up prayers and supplication with strong crying and tears. Oh, wow, there's crying and tears again. I'm telling you people, it's about your heart. I'm not gonna cry today, I can't, I can't be crying and getting all upset, I gotta crawl. But, do you hear what it's saying? Same thing we've been talking about in Lamentations. Wailing in tears, crying in tears. Come on, man. It's sad how sick we are. People think, I'm not sick. I've got the Holy Spirit. I'm Tony Williams. I'm, I'm, I'm Gabar of GMS. I'm not sick. I'm hopefully lack. I've got 100% truth. Blah, blah, blah. Throw up on yourself. When in the days of his flesh, when he had offered up prayers and supplications with strong crying and tears unto him that was able to save him from death and was heard in that he feared, though he were a son, yet learned he obedience by the things which he suffered. How do we learn how to be with our brother? We suffered till death. We're not, I'm not, I'm not leaving any of you behind. I'm not hard out of here. I wouldn't do that to you. Oh, see ya. I'm good. Fuck you. Shaka bra. Take it easy. Hang loose. The tribulation's coming. Get ready. I'm out of here. Is that what Christ would do? Would Christ ditch out on you and hard out of here and leave you for tribulation? That's fucking sick doctrine, man. That's sick. That's even sicker than sick. I'm not going to do that. I'm the last man standing. I, I'm not getting out of here till everyone's out of here. If he pulls me up to do something else, nothing I can do about that. But my goal is to stay put. I'm the captain of the ship. Bitches. Not got, I go down with the ship. And being made perfect, he became the author of eternal salvation unto all them that obey him. What, what, how do we obey him? We love each other to the point of death. Simple. These people that think they're special, they're the ones that are going to get fucking bopped. Bopped, bopped, bopped. <sighs> Called on God and high priest after, after the order of Melchizedek. Are we supposed to be claiming racial fucking superiority? You know how <clears throat> wrong that is? You know what it's saying right here, right? It's saying GMS can suck a big fat cock. Sorry. They're stupid. They don't get it. It has nothing to do with 
race it has nothing to do with your mother or your father. You only have one father and one mother, Rachel and Jacob. Mary, Jesus, the Heavenly Father, that's your family, David, Saul, Melchizedek, Aaron, Moses, that's your family. You don't have no earthly family. You're a spirit. This fucking helicopter is starting to drive me. Um. <laughs> so then it goes into, let me see what I got. I'll be back. I'm going to... I'm going to scoot on out of here and then um, we'll get milk and strong meat and then um, we'll go back to Acts and work through the New Testament a little bit. All right, I'm out.